Hello, and welcome to Naturally Timeless Photography. My name is Rich, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the next tool in our toolbar here, which is the dropper tool. If you want to select this, you could either click on it or click E on your keyboard for the shortcut. The dropper tool is very useful to us. And it also works hand in hand with some of our other tools, such as the text tool here and the pen tool. But today I'm just going to show you what it does basically. Now, if I go over here to the color palette, you could see that my foreground color is black and my background color is white. So I want to change my foreground color to a color that is in this photo. So I could use it in order to um, type over the photo with a color that I particularly like and one that is um, actually in this photo right now. So all I have to do is get my dropper tool and go over here to my photo and I can select any color that I want within this photo. And if you notice the little box next to my dropper, as I move it across the screen, it is showing you what color the dropper is able to select where it's at. And I could go anywhere in this photo and pick any color that I want, but I particularly like the blues that are showing through the trees here. So I'm gonna select one of those and that looks good. So left click it and that'll automatically select that color and put it in our foreground layer color here. But what if I want to change my background color? I can click on the background color and this box will pop up and I just can move it over and then go to any color I want within this photo. So let's go with, uh, there's a nice green in here. Let's pick one of those and left click. And then I just click OK and it sets it as my background color. Now, what if I want to change those colors around? All I have to do is left click the swap button here and it'll change those around. And then if I want to go back to the black and white scheme, all I have to do is set to black and white, left click that, and we're back where we started. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.